Hello everyone, welcome back to Brightheim. Now when we last left off I was loading up the logs getting ready to sell them as we need some cash pretty desperately. Now I finally figured out how to check the prices. I've been Every time I go to the biogas plants to figure out how much money it would cost the, to unlock them, I couldn't get the map trigger to, or the uh, buy trigger to come up and tell me how much it would cost to buy them. So I finally figured that out. You actually have to um, get off your tractor or whatever you're driving in and walk to the point, just you know a few steps. But you have to be uh, approaching the point on foot to get the uh, to get it to trigger. So the big biogas plant, which is nearby here, is 1.9 million dollars or euros or whatever this is, and it's 1.2 million. If I let me see here, if I look on my map, I shall show you. Um, down in, I believe it's yeah, right in here. There's a biogas plant right here. So to get access to this one, it's about 1.2 million. So I think I would probably start with that one, and then you see that's a lot more handy for me, but. No, that's seven hundred thousand dollars. That's going to take me a while to earn that. Now I did do some off off screen on my um, on my alternative save game here. I I loaded it up and did some stuff with the uh, the saw uh, not the saw the chipper. And mm, really, I'm not going to go for that first. I really need a, a good income, and I don't think the chipper is is going to provide that income and that's a lot of money 240,000 or 230,000 just for the chipper alone and then I'm going to need a decent tractor to run the thing so I think for now what we're going to do is go for that biogas because that's where the money is so until then we're going to do some logging to get the cash to buy the biogas plant and I'll also um, probably off screen I'll do a little bit on screen but mostly it'll be off screen taking care of this and loading it up over in the silo there so I've looked at some mods over the weekend while, um, uh, while I was kind of off here. And oh, I, I, I found quite a few. I've, I've looked at a lot of the suggestions you guys have made. And a lot of them are good and a lot of them aren't. So uh, I'm not going to go through all the ones that I kind of rejected. I have added a few here. Let's have a look. Uh, I've got that gas truck. I'm going to buy that. I really like it. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty slick. I'll show you. Uh, I use this Linder Geotrack. Price is, uh, the price is okay. It does not come with the hook or the weight. It's just um, just the tractor. Yeah, it's an okay tractor. Now, let's see, I've added these. These are modded buckets, so I can. Well, you can see here what else it'll pick up, so I can get that grain off the floor without using the the crazy bucket that's just does not fit that tractor very well. This thing, I haven't tested this yet, uh, other than just spawning it in. I haven't actually tried harvesting with it. It's got some neat attachments. We'll have a look at that. Uh, I've got my old standby, the fort shirt here, that I'll be using when I replace the kid. Uh, what else have we got here? What did I, had? I had a new Holland here, but I got rid of it. It was kind of big. Uh, I also had a... a I was going to say Flegel, but there was a green tipper here. I forget what it was. And I tried it. It did not use, it did not load the chips, which is what I purchased it for. So this one is what I'll be using once I've outgrown that truck for picking up the wood chips over at the sawmill. So I'll need that fairly soon, but we'll see. I thought uh, 1.2 million is a long way to go here, so we'll have to just push straight for that. I still have 150,000 out on my loan, so I can only take another $50,000 loan. Now, let's see. Now, these are all trailers from a truck, a Zill truck. It's a fifth wheeler, so it'll take, you see how these are all fifth wheel tippers? So, lots of neat stuff here. Not thrilled with the prices, but I'll have to live with it. Uh, this trailer works pretty well. Log trailer is a waste of money. It does not work with these, uh, the logs from this pack, so that's unfortunate. Um, okay, what else have we got here? Um, here's the truck. Kind of cheap, but oh well, it's an old Russian truck, so they're... Muscania's, I'll get to them. This one has the hook on it, and this one does not, so this will be the first kind of big logging truck. Uh, yeah, I'm a ways off for that stuff. I really got to do some grinding on the logs there. 
Um, okay, and I think that's about it. Now, back to work. So what we're going to do is head over here. And so I parked here so I could show you on screen unloading it. Now, it's best to run this. I find if the vehicle holding the, the trailer is running too, it seems to be a lot more stable. Now, I could unload this with a hook, but this is way faster. So that is what we're going to do, because fast is how we're going to make some money. Alright, so all that yakking aside, let's start making some money. Now i got to get back into the swing of things here. Okay, so I saved my game, and then... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I thought the logs might have glitched out after saving and loading again, but... I got lucky. Alright, so we'll unload a few logs here and then I'll I'll kind of skip it ahead a bit because I'm not going to unload everything here. Well, actually I might. Depends on how many I grab this in this claw right now. Can I get them all? Yeah, I didn't think so. That'd be silly anyway. Speaking of silly, look at that. Ridiculous. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with this mod. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I spent about three hours last night just kind of practicing with the WF tracks so that I wouldn't look like an idiot. Oh, well, sure, I'll still do that, but not as not as high as a risk. Now, I don't know about you guys, but boy, today here uh, Western Canada, we had a really hot day. We got forest fires starting up and. I'm going to destroy my trailer take that. So, uh, yeah, hot day and just finally cooling off now. So it's kind of late at night for recording, but uh, pretty much had to wait. It was just too hot to maintain any concentration. Not a fan of the heat. Money, 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 money. So, I've gotten pretty fast at cutting the trees down and grabbing them up with that WF track. So, we'll see what we can do this episode. Um, don't know that we're going to do any conventional farming. Uh, it's probably going to be a logging episode here. Imagine I could get that biogas if I uh, sold stuff a little sooner. Oh, that reminds me. Did I have a great demand for something? No. Never mind then. Must have been on the uh, co-op one where we had a great demand for wheat. Finally. Got a huge stockpile of it. So, a lot of you are sending, um, you know, sending the, the mod suggestions in, and uh, that really helps me a lot, because there's so many mods out there, and it seems like everybody and their dog has gone and uh, put a roll cage on a a tractor and released it so it's really tough to sift through all that that well I'm not gonna say garbage but it just seems like there's a lot that you know glitches in the roll cage because they just try to bang the thing out really quickly without doing a lot of testing and making it you know putting the polish on it so that's somewhat disappointing but uh, really the worst part is the uh, worst part is my driving here Alright, let's back this thing up here. Now, nah, well, wreck the thing, I don't give a damn. Yeah, so driving around late at night, I guess that's probably why I should stay home at night, right? Can I drive? Anyway, if I ever do get out of here, I'm going to do some logging. Wow, I just cannot get over how bad I'm driving this thing right now. I'm blaming you guys for watching me. And allergies. All right, now we're getting out of here. Take this thing home, get it to welder, and fix the mess I just created on the back of the thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to. Well, I'll haul the wood chips later. The thing should be full on anyway, I believe. Now we go with a maddening rush across town, and hopefully I don't wrap this thing around some cars. Should probably slow down because the way things are going so far, I'll probably hit something, right? Look out, buddy, I'm coming through, and I'm a little bit crazy. I'm 
fortunately with this boom in the front, I probably won't see a car in front or that's on the same side of the road as me until I hit it. Are you going to pull out? Well, I thought he was going to pull out in front of me, but nope. So this is the large biogas plant coming up here on the right. Boy, I wish I had the money for that one because it would be a lot handier to get to, but... Oh well, the other one for 700000 I can drive across town a few times to make some money. And that, of course, will mean I'll need another loader or something to load up the, the silage and and uh, dump it in the thing you do over there. Money, 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 money. I suppose I could have paused this and uh, paused the video so you don't watch me drive all the way across town, but oh well. Well, this is an interesting view. Don't know how well I can drive with it, but we'll see. Okay, let's cut some more trees. It's getting to be late at night. 6.40. Well, let's just pretend the heat's gone down. Now we're going to do some logging in the middle of the night. Down, down she goes. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's take these three here in the end as well. So I haven't replanted yet. Uh, I guess I should do that soon. I gotta make a decision about where I'm gonna put the trees. Ooh, that was a crazy tree. Hmm. It's doing a lot of bobbling. Yeah, it's got a blaze on it. Let's try and drop that between those two. Okay, or we'll just go wherever we want to go there. Stupid clock. So, yeah, with the um, the wood chipper, these butts. If you cut this butt off right here. It is such a pain to get into the chipper. You gotta mess with it and bash the chipper around. I'm not gonna chip those. So I'm not gonna save them either. So I'm, I'm either gonna load them on the trailer if they fit, and if they don't, then I'm gonna cut them off and grind them up with a stump grinder. Because we're getting enough chips from the sawmill that I don't have to mess with these little ends. So we'll cut this off. Hmm. I think that's too long for the trailer. Yeah, well, we'll tr we'll try loading it, and if it doesn't work out, I'll cut it. Same with this one. Just gotta be careful in real life when you get logs laying across like this, because boy, they roll easily. Yeah, we'll go uphill. There, now they won't roll on me. They'll roll down the hill. Which is still bad, but not as bad as rolling over me, right? So I'd be interested to know how many of you guys actually have done this in real life as far as, you know, using the chainsaw and, and bucking up the logs like this. And I mean, even if you're just collecting firewood with it, I'd be neat to know how many are doing so. These are little trees, so the tops are bigger, if that makes any sense. Now I want to cut this one first since it's on top. We'll cut this last piece. Alright, we'll see. It's five dollars worth of fuel there. Now the question is, did Hitman learn anything at all after spending several hours yesterday 
running this beastie. Oh, I guess we'll soon find out. Learn one thing: this darn steering wheel gets in the wheel uh, in the way when I'm doing this. Hmm, do I this set on 50? Yeah, we'll bump that up to 100%. Damn, yeah, I'm uh, adjusting the crane speed here. All right, good enough. Oops, that's maybe a little bit fast. Huh. I've also got my mouse acceleration on, so yeah, that kind of went a little bit faster than I planned. Hmm, that's pretty long, isn't it? Oops. It sure seems to be bouncing around a lot. I think my game is acting up a bit tonight. <laughs> that is ridiculously long. Okay, we're gonna have to cut that butt end off. What is going on with this? Alright, let's cut the butt end off this one. God knows what this is gonna do to it. Cut this one off. How many trees did we cut? I think it was four, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, this would be a dangerous one to cut. Use a PV or something to roll them off first. Alright, all aboard. Let's get going again. Boy, this sure seems a lot faster than it was yesterday. A lot touchier. I mean, I had the speed on 100% uh, then, and I found it was better than what I had been using, but it seems to be a little bit touchy today. Oh well. Quit whining and load it up, right? There, that's looking better, isn't it? Almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Shouldn't say that. That's how logs get dropped. And feelings get hurt. You guys tell me what a noob I am. Alright, there's another one. Let's get this last one here, and then we'll swing up the other side and grab those. This works pretty slick though, I like this setup with the uh, WF track and then the, this little log trailer. Now I, I did do this with the, um, you know, the next bigger log trailer, um, not those, the black ones, but there was uh, another one there, I guess I'll show you here in a minute. Actually, I'll show you as soon as I load this one on. Now one little trick that I notice is, you see, put this, um, that up and try and do this without opening the claw. Oh, you bugger, I knew that was going to happen. So what I want to do here is I'm putting the big end this way because if you put all the logs on with the big ends on one end, then it does not fit very well. It does not a happy trailer make. Alright, come on you, get over there. Wow, this is really touchy. I have added a couple mods, but I don't think I have bought them, so I wouldn't think it'd be lagging me like this. Alright, and then I'll swing around here and grab the next patch. So that little guy isn't gonna fall out. Looks like he's on the inside. Yeehaw.
Now I do have a fan going, hopefully you guys aren't hearing that, I don't see how you would, because i got a pretty decent headset. Should switch, you know, I actually did a much better, I think, than the crane view. So let's try that. There we go. The only problem is the depth perception. I find the, um, if you hit Alt-Z, you get this, see that red thing? And it at least helps you gauge where the middle of the trailer is. I don't really need it for loading the logs, but it is pretty handy for... Let's grab this one. Let's just try and see. Down, down. I'm concentrating, so it's a little hard to do a narration when you're you're yakking away. Should ask Stocko every time he played Euro Truck and he'd start talking about stuff and he'd be focused on what he's saying and then he'd run into a car or something. And now I can see why. Come on, grab, there we go. And just kind of jiggle it around a bit to get the logs to settle in. There we go. Don't know if I can reach that one. Little top. It's probably only worth two hundred dollars. Hardly worth it, but hey, I need money. So get over here. Yeah, I should probably not bother with this little guy, but oh well. He's in the claw. He's going to market. If I can get him on the trailer. Okay, you start being owner, and I'm just gonna chip you. Oh, you are, you are a bugger. Look at that. Damn tops. So, yesterday it was kind of weird. I, I had a log actually come out from underneath all the other logs, and it slipped out and fell on the uh, ground. So, so I imagine they can probably fall out on the road if you're not watching. And it was all piled okay, just like I'm doing here, so I don't know why it fell off, but... So I guess watch watch out on your return trip, you end up running over a log in the middle of the road that you didn't know you weren't expecting would be there. What are we doing for a load here? This dinky little trailer, we might have to go to a bigger trailer soon. Let's grab these two tops and then we'll take this over. Now, question is, can I grab them both? Getting greedy, are we? <laughs> yes, laugh. Laugh what you can. See, you buggers. Oh, idiot. Idiot fingers. Do what I tell you. Seriously? No, screw you, Tops. We're not taking them. We're not taking them because I cannot be bothered to do that for $400. Not when these other ones are worth a couple thousand. They're just not worth the time and effort. Alright, so I'll grab a few more. Bring 
this one back in. Braille them in. Alright, behave yourself. Get on there. Don't you do it. Alright. Good luck. Good luck. Now, I don't know if we can get those last two on here. It's going to be tight, but we'll try it. They'll either go on or they won't. I'm going to actually, I think I'll pause it here so I can at the, I mean, we're coming up on kind of the end here, so I did want to show you selling them, so we at least get to see, oh, come on, stupid fuck, get out of my way. Yeah, next time I do this, first thing I'm doing is, after I cut them up, is bring in the, uh, the stump grinder and just grind all these little buggers out of the way. Makes things a lot easier. So hopefully while you're watching me derping around, uh, maybe you'll get some some little tips to help things for you when you're loading them up. And if you have any tips for me, please feel free to put them on there. It'll help me and I'll help, uh, help the rest of you who are doing this. Now it was mentioned to me before to reduce the acceleration speed on the crane. Um, I did do that, but I don't know, I just, it, it didn't work as well for me as far as uh, I didn't really care for it. I like the faster acceleration, and then I can easily change the acceleration on my mouse. Well, as you saw <laughs> earlier with the crazy speed. Alright, get on there. Grab that, last one. You know, I keep saying I'm going to pause, and I never do, do I? Then my episodes end up 40 minutes long, and I don't know why. Alright, so the question is, is this one going to go on here? You guys didn't want me to pause anyway, did you? Oh, I knew it. I think we can get still get it on there, and we're going to try. So I am just like that, I can't help myself. Ooh, even if I dump the whole damn trailer, I still got to get that one on there. And I go until I screw it all up. I wish I could say I've never done that before. Wish I could say I learned the lesson. I'm even telling you I know better and I still keep doing it, don't I? Alright, now you're gonna get on there. You are. Yes, you are. You're gonna do it. Stay. Stay. Let go. Let go. And stay on there. Stay. Yes, it locked. Okay. Phew. Alright, so what I will do is I'll pause it for the run over there and then we'll unload and, and then we'll call that an episode. Alright, we're over here unloading. So let me see. We had about 19, almost 20,000 when we started this episode. And that first load of logs gave us 22. So let's actually. Ooh, gonna, oh, I knew that was going to fall off there. Oh well. So let's just see what we get for cash on this load. So this is basically um, what I get for cash here is how much I can earn in about 20 minutes worth of work. So let's see how that goes. 42k. Let's see what we end up with when we're done. Set myself up for embarrassment. Do some f fail math. Late night fail math. Fun stuff. Okay then. Assuming I can even get it off the trailer in the first place. Come on, get on there. Get, get on there. Fine, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what would be neat is a sawmill that had a fixed crane. That would be kind of cool. Especially because the factory's not going to bobble all over the place because they can set the weight to crazy weight so that it uh, it won't move. The mod author, I mean. Like, you could set the... Uh, the heavier the machine is, the less it bobbles around from the logs. At least that seems to be the way of it. Alright. Oh, 
wish this thing would just reach a little further down. There we go. Uh oh. There's one in there that's not latched. I'll have to resort to the steering wheel for this one. Behave, behave. Yeah, I thought so. I almost dropped them on the ground. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? Funny for you, not for me. State. Alright, I thought that one was going to pop up. Alright, one more, and then we'll uh, see how much we've made. We're at about 18,000 so far. 19,000, and almost 20. Yeah, right here. One good size log. Let's see what this one brings us. Yeah, normally I'd grab the middle, but oh well. Oh well. Picks it up just fine. Yeah, let's see how much that brings in. It ever gets in there. Oh, about two thousand. All right, so we made about what twenty-two thousand today. So I can make about I don't know about a thousand dollars a minute if I uh, if uh, if all I'm doing is logging. Now, one thing I'd like is if I get that bigger trailer, I can load up a lot more logs on here because bringing this stuff over, like bringing the um, the tractor and the uh, the trailer over takes a bit of time, it's a bit of a drive, so the more I can load on that trailer before bringing it over the more money I can make per minute, because that's really what it's coming down to and when I'm looking at making another oh gosh, um, 1.1 million before I can even get that biogas plant, plus I want to buy that trailer before I get to that so yeah, that's going to take a few hours of work. You can see all the wood chips piling up around here. Okay, so I guess that will wrap it up for today. Um, tomorrow, or next, uh, I guess tomorrow will be our next video. And I think what I will do is probably take care of those fields off screen. I might show a bit of the kid just kind of recording as I go. But, um, but it don't think I, I guess we've got a canola harvest coming too. So we'll probably do a bit of farming and a bit of logging and, and we'll see where we go from there. Until then, I'll see you next time and hope to see you then. Bye for now.